Hello, I'm in the Z, and today I want to show you um, a way how to install a PS Vita half by loader on your PS Vita if you're still running Farmer 3.15 and if you're using the European PlayStation Store. In the new Farmer 3.18, a game got fixed, so Freakler released the game, which is only compatible with Farmer 3.15 and before. There's a little trick that you can ab abuse if you have the pre-last farmer. So if the latest farmer is 3.18, the pre-last is 3.15, because that was the newest before 3.18 was available. Simple is, he says, the game Skate Park City, which is available in the European PlayStation Store. I'm not sure if it's just the European one, but it is available in the European one. And as you can see, it's six euro ninety nine. It's compatible with the PS Vita and PSP, and I did not buy it yet. I could buy it, but I will show you a little trick. Like you go to the website I'm currently at, which is store.sonyentertainmentnetwork.com. Then it will load a bit, depending which language your PlayStation account has. Uh, this page will be in said specific language. Since my account is German, the page is in German. Then you go to your um, account, log in, and if you've logged in, you've got this uh, drop-down window. And you have download list and download queue. You go to download list, and then, I already did this here, select one game which is currently not at your PS Vita. I've deleted Game of Crazy 1 from my PS Vita, so I can use this trick. This button basically says download to your PS Vita. So I'll click it. And now the game is in my download queue. If I now use my 3.15 PS Vita, enable Wi Fi, and restart it and wait a bit, it should automatically download the game even though it does not have the version 3.18. And if you use this for Freakler's Skate Park City game, you can install a 3.15 VH build at your PS Vita. And the game is still in the store, so you can still do this. Okay, this is now my PS Vita 2000, which is not updated yet. It's still running from a 3.15. Important is, you go to Settings, System, and Auto Start Settings, and you have to enable Refresh Live Area Screen and Update Online, online Status for PlayStation Network. If you have up, uh, enabled these functions, then you have to enable Wi-Fi. It should automatically connect to a Wi-Fi if you've configured it. And as you can see, system update, it should say new version found, version 3.18. And it does. And if I try to use the PlayStation Store, it should say I have to update. But that's not really a problem. Simple is, be sure Wi-Fi is enabled and the other functions in the settings apps are also enabled and then you shut down the device and restart it. So if it's shut down you press the power button and it should restart. And then after restarting you wait like 10 seconds on your lock screen then you unlock your device and then it should automatically download the game you just put in the download queue. So if you use the new um, Skate Park City game, buy it and put it in your download queue and then use this fancy trick, then it should automatically download the game to your PS Vita even though it's running 3.15 and not 3.18. It might take a bit of time you can also do it, do it like I did it, like you open this overlay, you close it, and it should automatically download your game. As you can see, if you use this little trick, you can actually um, download Skate Park City at your 3.15 device and then, and then install a VHBL on your PS Vita. It is important to say that this does not work with 3.12, it does not work with 3.10, 
and it does not work with 3.01 and so on. So it only works with the pre-lost firmware, which is in this case 3.15, because 3.18 is the newest. And as you can see, the game is at your PS Vita. You can start it, even though the PS Vita says you have to update, but apparently you do not. This is a little fancy trick, it might be patched in the future, and it will definitely be patched if they release yet another firmware, like 3.19 or 3.20 or whatever. So abuse this trick to get Skate Park City and then you can install the PSB to half butt loader for firmware 3.15 via Skate Park City. I'm the that and see you soon. Okay, in the third part of the video I will show you the game and how you start the VH Beetle. It's pretty simple. Like I've showed you in the first and the second part, um, how to buy the game, how to transfer it to your 3.15 PS Vita, and in this part I will show you how to start the V8 wheel. Like I said, this does not work with the 3.18, only with 3.15. Okay, you start the game, which is Skate Park City, and then you press start. You go to single player, you go to load game, and as you can see, VHBL icon, you load the game, and then you have to simply wait. And as you can see, it's starting the Vita half by loader. Once again, only 3.15, not 3.18. And you have to buy the game. You don't believe how many messages I get of people that say they transferred the files but the game does not appear at their home screen. Yeah, it does not appear because you did not buy it. You have to buy the game, it's €6.99 as you, as you were able to see in the first part. And if you buy it and transfer it with this little trick on your 3.15 PS Vita, you can start the PS Vita half bud loader like I've just shown you. Ah, oh, God. And if you did this, you can launch homebrews and emulators, like I just did. God. And if you launch the emulator, you can launch old games, like this game, which is Pokemon Crystal. This is, by the way, the German version of Pokemon Crystal. Also load other games like Legend of Zelda, Link's Awakening, or Tetris, and so on. And this one is running at the firmware. Okay, I don't want to spoil the MAC address of my new PS Vita like I did with the first one. So I will try to be careful, as you can see it's 3.15, oh, there, 3.15 and running the half bud loader via the new game Skate Park City. I'm the that and see you soon.